So another week, another vlog, and I'm gonna put some B-roll in here. So me and my friend we visited a restaurant. Um, it was super good. We had ribs, cornbread, mac and cheese, and I had a sangria. It was super good. Um, the ribs tasted like the barbecue sauce was cheap though, so that's never good. <laughs> uh, so a happy. Sunday it's Sunday so I'm starting the vlog today this morning I woke up I baked some chicken at my friend's house so that they would have it to just eat during the week you know with their salads and stuff like that but um yeah it's Sunday and I'm trying to visit a new church today um my friend's mom goes to that church so I was like and a lot of them come to get their makeup done so I was like okay let me really visit this church i want to do that today today's sunday i'm just watching over last week's vlog so if you are new here my name is Takeda joseph and welcome welcome on this channel we are focused on growing and helping others grow in court life and makeup and um i'm just trying to vlog again but just vlog in my own unique and different way you know um I believe that the messages that are shared in this vlog will help different people at different times you know so we're back without vlogging and um, I'll check up with you guys when something more interesting is happening today like I don't know I'll tell you guys how the church was that I visited if I visited it today um, also check out my Instagram at Takeda Joseph and stay up to date with what's happening okay guys so good morning um oh uh, i literally just got up um so i'm about to so as you guys saw like my nails shambles and i want to do makeup content so i want to kind of uh, like like do more makeup content like just instead of like me doing faces i want to do like my amazon finds like drugs or favorites you know just like reviewing products stuff like that on my reels um so like i want to do more stuff like that so today i'm going to do like my top um drugstore foundations but my nails so i have to go cut down my nails and file them so that it wouldn't look bad because some of them popping up like one two three four five nails popped up five i'm over it right and um i just i just got up and when i wake up in the morning i love to light my candles and um just kind of create a vibe put on my worship and that's how i love to do my mornings um clean up um but i'm wondering if i should if i should do those videos today or if i should do those videos tomorrow i clean today and then do those videos tomorrow but i have to clean my makeup area anyway today so I may be able to do just like a couple of the videos today which is fine I like I want to do lash application and my favorite drugstore makeup so yeah and I have to clean my makeup here let me show you guys Alexa stop this needs to be dealt with um, I'm gonna do a re real review this for you guys this needs to be dealt with all of these things here needs to be dealt with so yeah so I've been reading this book by Rick Ross and I think I showed you guys that I was reading it on Instagram I have one more chapter and it's such a like such an amazing book I love Rick Ross if you know me you know I love Rick Ross you guys have just seen me around the house wearing crazy stuff I don't realize if you know me you know how much I love Rick Ross and um, I um using reading this book and this book is such an excellent book um so much wisdom literally so much information to boss up and be a boss so i love this book and um i'm gonna instead of disrupting my normal morning routine i'm gonna go ahead with it 
so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to oh that wall looks so good I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um make my smoothies have something for breakfast and then start like cleaning up and doing my tidying and stuff and then I'm gonna get ready to do my makeup routine and stuff like that so I'll see you guys guys so this is like my little setup to do my reels let me put this light on here to see if it works like what am i getting to if that is good i have no idea i'm going to set up my thing and see if that's giving me enough light i really don't know this is how my setup is looking for the reels that i want to do maybe have to go across like this yeah, so I can do YouTube videos here also, like when I'm talking to you guys, but I may have to get a chair that's lower. So time gonna be painted this wall. MUA business advice sessions. Um, I did a giveaway where I gave it to 20 people for free. So I'm just finishing up with like three more people and um, three more persons rather. And um, it's just super amazing. You can click the link in my bio if you want to book. But yeah so i'm gonna go on one now so what's up how are you doing what has been going on photographers hairdressers you know just like be friendly like when you see them at like at a wedding or at a booking be like be friendly with them you know what i mean and um also what is a good thing to do is to follow them on instagram shakira I'll call you back yes follow them on instagram start to get familiar with them like under their um under their comments you know leave a comment leave a heart you know just you know shout out the wow amazing work like this content was good you know like you know start building relationships like that with them on social media so that they can get familiar with you so when they see you somewhere they, like they feel like you guys already have a rapport already good alexa repeat Hey guys, good morning. You guys see what we did there? We did a little setup over there. Maybe I'll sit here and talk to you. I have no idea. Like, you know, we could have like breakfast and over stuff like that over here. Mm -hmm. I like it. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it's really pretty. Um, this morning I wanted to talk to you guys about self righteousness. Um, and the fact that sometimes when you're wallowing in self-righteousness and self-righteousness is a thing that you don't see that it that is happening in you or it's a thing that you don't see that you have or that you're going through you know and um like just like being self-righteous could cause us to be so wrapped up in ourselves that we don't even see other people you know what i mean and today i wanted to talk to you guys about that because um I believe like it's a prayer that you have to say you know god show me my heart show me where i'm experiencing self-righteousness and free me like deliver me from that you know um yeah i feel like i was just praying about that like two days ago you know just like just like when you're and especially like when you're a perfectionist and like me i have this need to always just do everything perfect you know um and it could be so easy to expect perfection from people because it's like that's why the word of god says um do unto others as you like others to do unto you we we're speaking about that or forgive because with that same measure you forgive others god will forgive you you know so it so like basically a big part of the word of god is about treating treating others well treating yourself well and then treating god it's all about how you treat god or how you receive god how you treat yourself and how you treat others right but if you're self-righteous right it's like this like i am perfect you know what i mean i know you're expecting perfection from other people so now it's like it's so hard for you to accept the flaws in other people it's so hard for you to accept that the other person is not perfect it's so hard for you to see anything beyond the falls of somebody you know what i mean and um i was just like you know that's like something to talk about and that's something we don't speak about as christians like it can be so easy for us to 
become self-righteous and we don't even know and i actually had to like pray and ask god for forgiveness for that because i realized that i was being self-righteous in so many ways and i actually had to repent and ask god for forgiveness for that and um you know like ask god to help me to know that we are all like very sinful and it's only because of the grace of the holy spirit that we even a little better than we should be it's like nothing we have done it's like nothing we could do the only reason that we are a little even good or better you know what i mean like some people they just fantasize about how much of a good person they are but are you really you know um i think like we need to come to a point where we realize that we are messed up that we are so sinful and that it's only the grace of god that keeps us like going and it's not like an excuse to go out and sin or whatever but when you know that there's the grace of god that that keeps you going and it's not just because you're a good person and it's not just because you know you're better or because you're a better christian but it's because the, the grace of god it's like you don't want to sin like you want to just really live for god in the best way you know how to because you understand that it's grace you're living under you know what i mean and self-righteousness is a thing that could blind you from seeing that it's really the grace of god you're living under you know what i mean and um i was just like thinking about that yesterday and the day before and like really praying and asking god like to help me to not be self-righteous like to help me to not be judgmental like to help me to not be um because as christians it's so easy to it's a, it's like a thin line between self-righteousness and the like being judgmental and we don't want to be either you know so i feel like it's just to come to that space where it's like and scratch that but like with self-righteousness it's so easy to see the flaws in other people because you think you have no faults you know what i mean so it's like oh but this person this and this person that and that and this person the other you know and um you know i had to pray and ask god you know help me to help me to love people just for who they are and to know that any good in them is because of your holy spirit and because of grace you know and the same for me like we all born into a world of sin we all messed up but it's the grace of god that makes us good you know like it's not anything that we do it's like literally the grace of god that makes us good you know what i mean so when you see somebody and they have bad qualities in this area not so good qualities in this area our prayer should be like god allow your grace of god to help them in this area allow your grace of god to bring them up in this area and to make them more good in this area you know and um yeah that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about today but anyway i'm going to make breakfast i'm going to make egg and bagels and i feel so just sit on and watch tv all day today but i'm going to fight that feeling and i'm going to i have as you guys know i'm writing a devotional and i have like five more five more sections to write and i'm going to try to write that out today and um yeah so that's what i want to talk to you guys about so the moral of the story is understand that it's the grace of god that makes you good you know and it's not just because you're a good person it's literally the grace of god and you should be able to give that same grace to everybody that you come into contact with and pray that the grace of the holy spirit falls on them too so that they will become better people you know um so yeah and also pray against the spirit of judgment and self-righteousness because as christians it's so easy to fall in that trap so we don't want to and this is just me being vulnerable with you guys like we really don't want to fall into that trap so good talk i'm gonna have breakfast now i know i forgot my zoom Tell me what you're oh, willing to do. Oh, yeah, those are pretty. Oh, we can find dresses here. Yeah, 200, though. Um, okay, guys. We are on the hunt for some skims. No, 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 but we could always get something else here. We are on the hunt for some skims. Yeah. Mm, wedding. wedding. Do you have one? Yeah, I have one. What are you willing to do? Look at it. Look at it, Tristan. Look at it. Look at it. Look at me. Look at it. 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 Look at it.
Do 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 Can't be a mom. <laughs> Just then, who imagine is having can't twins. do it? Let me see something. Just <laughs> imagine having two. <laughs> oh. Ah, damn! Too much breast milk, Kristen. <laughs> Goodbye. That's heavy. Y'all, y'all failed the mom test. No, Tristan, go ahead. Got this really nice necklace. Check it out. It has a T on it. It is so nice. And um, So, um, it's like for bloating, and um, it says here yeah, it helps feel less hungry because you know I've been eating, guys. It helps maintain healthy blood sugar, it helps lower cholesterol, and it promotes digestive health. So, I'm trying it as we speak. Okay, hey guys, today is picnic day. Say hi to my friend Olichi. We are on a picnic. So, I'm going to take you guys along and show you all, all the beautiful things we are seeing today. Wow, this is beautiful, guys. Look at my friend treading. You look like money from the back. <laughs> guys, I was just telling Olechi that I am the friend with the gadgets. So, I have like camera, phone, tripod. Whatever you need, I have it because... I'm about getting the content, so yeah, Ooh, it is beautiful, are you guys seeing? spot to have the picnic oh my makeup still looks good yeah, we're looking this is not so mark by the way guys are uh, we looking for a place to have the picnic Hi. it is hot today is sunday this yeah. vlog need to go up tomorrow morning i if we can go up there that isn't she lovely <laughs> isn't she <laughs> Isn't this so cute? Only she's getting this spread together for the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, friend. Okay, hey guys. So, thank you guys for watching this vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my Instagram, at Joseph, and you're going to see the pictures that I post from this picnic.